Hello, everybody. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys a short lesson. And to begin, does everybody recognize what this is? The one dollar bill? Yeah. Does anybody know who's on the one dollar bill? Coolest Watcher kid. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. I'm so proud of you. Um, so that's right. Today we're going to be having a short lesson about George Washington. He's one of our founding fathers, and he's the first president of the United States. And um, to do so, we are going to read a short bibliography about George Washington, and we're going to be creating a social media page for George Washington, um, because he wasn't born during the time of social media, right? But I'd like to think if George was still alive today that maybe he had fun, like on Instagram or Twitter, just like you and I. Um, so our objective today is going to use our creativity and our comprehension skills to summarize some important information about his personal life some of his greatest achievements, and develop a timeline of some of his life's events. So, um, imagine if George Washington had a social media page. What do you think he would post about? Um, how the, how like, um, how the office and stuff is doing? Yeah, maybe about his presidency, right? Maybe he would post like pictures of horses, you know, people post pictures of cars nowadays. Maybe post pictures of some of his favorite horses, or maybe he'd share some of his thoughts on the Constitution. Um, so this is going to be our template that we're going to use to create his social media page. We can like put a little profile picture here, and then here we're going to talk about like a short bio, like a short bio for his early life, some of his accomplishments, some fun facts, and then we are going to have some of these pictures that we can glue in order to create a timeline um, of George Washington's life. But before we read our short little article about George, um, we're going to go over some key vocabulary that are going to come up in our reading, just so we can be a little bit more prepared to comprehend the reading a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this out to you guys, just so you can start having it. Oh my god, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Um, so it's going to be an article. And while I read, I want you guys to read along. But before, we're going to go over our vocabulary. So has anybody heard of the word taxes? Because that's going to be our first vocabulary term. Yeah? Like, uh, Do you know what it means? It's like when, when you buy something, there's a tax to it. And it adds more money to you. Yeah, that's right. Do you guys know why we have taxes? Yeah. So people. People don't get out of hand and people don't keep on lowering the prices. Yeah. And and, and the extra part is for because you have to give it to the police and the other right. places. Right. Yeah. So it's a way that our government collects money from the citizens in order to help pay for really important things like schools and roads and even hospitals. Um, how about the word revolutionary? Do you guys know what revolutionary means? A little bit of a longer, maybe a little more difficult word than taxes, huh? Okay, since revolutionary is a bit of a longer word, can you break it down into some syllables? Can you guys help me like clap the syllables of revolutionary? Revolutionary. Yeah, that's right. Can you clap it all together? Okay. Revolutionary. Yeah, okay, so revolutionary, it means kind of like a big change that a group of people want to see happen. Um, for example, have you guys heard of like the American Revolution? Yeah. Right, yeah. the American people, they, um, they really wanted to have a change and they wanted to be independent from the British government. So that was revolutionary. Um, how about the word government? Uh, it's, our, it's our people who are uh, taking our, uh, like our responsibilities and uh, I can't remember the rest. Yeah. Do you know? Like our leaders of our country and like... Yeah, that's right. The government is a group of people who make important decisions and create rules to help people live as safely and as happily as they can in this country, right? Um, so our next term is going to be elections. And I feel like you might know what that one means already. Do you know what that next term is? It's basically like... Yeah, that's true. And you can have all sorts of elections, right? Like, it's not even just a presidential election on like that high government scale. It could be like choosing the president of your school, right? You elect a president of your school, right? Um, and then we only have 
have two more vocab words. We have capital. And do you know what capital means? Capital is like kind of like the it's like a city and a state. It's like the main city. Yeah, exactly. It's the most important city or state in a country where the government meets and they make their most important decisions, right? Um, and then our last word, it's another big one, so I want to do the syllables one more time. It's going to be constitution. Okay, can we break that down? Constitution. Right, does anybody know what constitution means? I heard a lot from you, so go ahead. It's like the constitution, constitution is like a set of rules that they, um, that people wrote after a war. So it's kind of like laws, but yeah, rules that the laws go off of. Right, it's like a, it's gonna be like that, the special set of rules that tells the country how it should be run and how everyone in the country should live, right? Like the rules that as citizens we need to follow, right? All right, so now that we feel a little bit more comfortable with our new vocabulary words, um, let's go right into our text and um, we'll go ahead and read it. I actually think I gave you my copy, so I'll go ahead <laughs> and switch that out. But yeah. Do we do popcorn reading? Yeah, we can do some popcorn reading. Um, we can take paragraph by paragraph. Um, why don't we go in like a little circle? And this Romano will be one of them too. <laughs> and so we can start over here with early life. And once we get to our key vocabulary terms, um, if we could just underline the words that we just learned, and I'll, I'll remind you guys which ones they were. Okay, you wanna start with early life? Okay. Early life, George Washington was born in Virginia in 1732. His father died when he was only two years old. George helped his family by working on their farm and caring for his younger brothers and sisters. When George was a boy, the 13 colonies, the 13 colonies in America were controlled by Great Britain. George went off to a war in the 1750s. Britain was fighting France for control of North America. Washington led many soldiers and fought bravely for Britain. Bullets tore four holes in his coat during one battle, but luckily they missed his body. Britain ended up Britain ended up winning the war against France in 1760. Perfect. Okay. What was your name? Where? In the 1760s, Britain began raising taxes in the colonies. And can everybody uh, underline the word taxes right there? Americans were upset and wanted to be free from British rule. The col colonists in Brit British started fighting the Revolutionary War in the 1775. Was Washington led the American army. They ended up winning the war with great leadership. Perfect. And underline the word revolutionary there. After the war, the United States was a new country that needed a government. Washington Washington helped write America's Constitution in 1787. It outlines the country's laws and how leaders are chosen. Right. Um, we have two vocabulary terms. Can you go ahead and underline those? Does anybody know which ones they were? Government and Constitution. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now Ms. Romano will read President. Americans looked up to Washington as a war hero and great leader. He won the first presidential election in 1789. He was elected to another four-year term in 1792. Washington led the new nation in a tough time. The small country had little power, but continued to go, grow. Three more states became part of the nation while Washington was president. Vocabulary terms, anybody remember? Election. Yeah, perfect. Everybody underline that. And then, do you want to take over our last paragraph? Okay. Legacy. George Washington helped the United States become a large, powerful nation. He is remembered in many ways. His face was sculptured into Mount Rushmore. The nation's capital is named after him. The Washington Monu Monument is located there. Washington's pictures, picture is also found in on 
the one dollar bill and the quarter. Washington died at, in 1799 at Mount Vernon. Vernon. Yeah. Oh, so now that 